Apart from the tragic stories of lives lost, there are courageous tales of survival and rescue. 84-year-old Arnaud Cote not only made it out alive, he helped three of his neighbors get out too. He escaped with nothing but a pair of pants and his slippers. And as Mike Armstrong reports, now he and some 20 other elderly survivors are trying to piece their lives back together. Arnaud Cote's story doesn't take long to tell because everything played out in seconds. He was in bed in his second floor room at the Residence du Havre when the fire alarm went off. Côté went to his window. I looked to the left, he says, and I could see flames coming out of the roof. As the fire swept through one part of the building, Côté did what he could in the other. Through thick smoke, he banged on doors trying to wake people up. He was able to get three residents out of their rooms and wanted to get more. I tried to go further into the smoke, but it was too thick, he says. I saved the three I could. Cote spent one night at a friend's, two in a hotel, and now he's found a new home. Another senior's residence just a few blocks away. Most of the other survivors have had to move out of town to find a room. The manager of the residence has been helping Cote with insurance, banking, change of address, telephone. It's a lot of things all at once, he says. It's been a lot of things all at once for all of the survivors. They've had to move, something that's always traumatic. They've lived through a fire, another trauma, and through all that, they've had to deal with the loss of dozens of friends. Jean Damour has met with nearly all the survivors. He's the local member of the provincial legislature. He says many were fragile already and are having trouble grasping just what happened. On des questions aussi, aussi cruelles. He says the questions are cruel, people asking where their friends are. You have to be very careful how you answer. The owners of the residence have said it's too early to consider rebuilding, but there is no question that's what people here want. The town needs more space for seniors so people can stay in the community, and the town needs the space so it can one day bring the survivors back to the community. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Lille Verte, Quebec.